Okay, Miss Jamie. Hi. I'm going to show you the basic features of our Dirkhoff Adler machines. I'm working on Miss Hannah currently. So, if you come over here, there is an on and off button. The straight line is on. So, you're going to turn on the button. And you're going to wait for this. It says starting, and you're going to wait for it to say ready. And then you know it's completely on with the green light. Okay, over here we have a manual dial, and this is your stitch length. The smaller the number, the smaller the stitch length. So you can turn it forwards and backwards, and this little metal dial or metal knob tells you the stitch length. So right now I'm at 3.5. Okay. Normally we have it at 3. So now we're at 3. Okay. This here is also a manual dial. This is for your presser foot pressure. Don't, don't move, just hold still. And this, uh, the smaller the number, the less pressure. So if you wanna go down, you can right now, it, it's on 30, indicated by this metal dot. And you can go up. So right now it's on 50. I'm gonna put it back to 40 for our purposes. Okay, so now, my presser foot is currently in the upright position and it's in the upright position because of this lever right here. And this lever, if you go up and down, will move your presser foot. Okay, so now I'm going to lower my presser foot and I'm going to show you these buttons here. Okay, so this button here, I'm going to sew for a second. This button here is my needle up or my needle down, okay? Now, there's two ways to reverse on this machine. One is here and one is here. They didn't see that button. I one is that. here, this button, this big white button, and then this lever here. Now, I'm gonna stitch and I'm gonna hold it down the whole time I want it to go back. So I'm holding it down, it's going backwards. I'm not holding it down, it's going forwards, okay? Now I'm going to do it again with the lever. I'm sewing forwards right now. I'm holding the lever down, it's going backwards. I'm releasing the lever, it's going forwards. Okay. Now, this up here is your light switch. Left is on and right is off. If you leave it to the left, it will turn on and off as you turn on your machine. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to release the tension if your needle comes unthreaded and you need to rethread it. So I'm going to reach my hand through here, and in this circle here, there's a dot. That is a button. You need to hold it down, and it releases your tension so you can pull this thread through. You have to hold it down the entire time. It's releasing these tension discs right here. So I'm pressing it, and it releases. You never want to pull it while it's threaded through the needle. So then you can re-thread your machine from left to right. Okay. Now Right here is your gas pedal, and this has three features to it. If you use the front of the foot is right here, where my toe is showing. The toe will lift your presser foot here. I'll do that again, sorry. Okay, your toe will lift this presser foot here. Here, it's like your leg, your pant leg's kind of in the way. There we go. Your toe will lift your foot. Okay. Now you can use your whole foot it goes like a gas pedal. Now for the front of the foot right here, if you use your heel and you push really hard, it's going to raise this and cut your thread. See? So that was hard. Oh, yeah, put your toe. Toe to lift, foot to go, heel to lift and cut. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if it's on our list. Something I was supposed to. Oh, and then we're supposed to do this at the end. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on, wait.